Hey guys, Civilar here. Hopefully your eardrums are still intact from yesterday. <laughs> uh, my sincerest apologies for those of you who are underage and watched that review. I just felt the need to be absolutely ridiculous and make it. <laughs> so, with that being said, today we're having a look at the Marvel Legends Absorbing Man series, Superior Foes. Right? Superior foes of Spider-Man. Ooh, excuse me. I didn't know it was Spider-Man. I thought it was a freaking... I thought it was of Hawkeye. I said that because Hawkeye is a total waste. <laughs> Superior foes of Spider-Man. Beetle. She-Beetle. Beetlette. Choice is up to you. Although if it was up to me, I'd make a classic Beetle first, but now nah, whatever. So here is the box, Superior Foes, there's that douchebag on the side there, there's Beetle. It looks kind of scary, <laughs> And then, um, there's the box, there's Bio, yeah. And there's two of them. Looking like total champs. But no. So Beetle, uh, she has the same wings as the Wasp. She has pretty much the same body, sort of. Um, her uniform is sculpted on, which is nice. Um, for the most part, it is anyway. I mean, there is uh, just paint around the shoulders, and then the boots are. Not sculpted either. So the boots and the gloves are not sculpted, but this piece is. So she pretty much has a new torso compared to the wasp. Obviously, a new head. The wings are the same. Um, I don't know why they went with a green hinge. Maybe because maybe because a pink transparent plastic. I think the wasps were clear. I'm not sure, but. Green, okay, whatever, it's from the back, I really don't care. Uh, you can wedge a flight stand in between the uh, wings, though. That little gap here on her torso, so that's pretty nice. On her back, I guess, better way to put it. Um, she's pretty much the same as Wasp, I mean, and the basic female body. But articulation, uh, she does have a hinge in the head, swivel, uh... A little bit of uh, extra rock in there. She has a diaphragm joint, which I love the diaphragm joint, honestly. I think a waist cut and a diaphragm joint is better than a uh, ab crunch, especially if the diaphragm joint's done well and not too gappy. She's got in and out at the shoulders, forward and back, single hinge at the elbow, swivel at the elbow, a hinge at the wrist, swivel at the wrist. She has the nice splayed out hands. Uh, T jointed hips, or just ball joints. They could just be ball joints. They probably are. Forward and back. She does kind of have that. Uh, due to her costume, which is very Jetsons y, <laughs> uh, her legs do move out to the side a little bit, so she sort of does a spread eagle. Uh, <laughs> Thigh swivel on top of that. Her, her 
I think her legs. No, they don't do that. Okay. Um, I thought they were ball joints, kind of like Spider Gwen, but they're really not. They're just T joints. She's got double jointed knees. Nothing at the poo. Nothing at the shin, I should say. And she's got a hinge of the foot with a rock joint. Which I don't know why they call these rockers. It's basically a swivel. Woo! Because you could swivel it all the way around. And yeah. <laughs> Sticking her behind camera and making sweet love. No. Uh, <laughs> standing her up. Mine's got a little bit of warpage in the leg, but I can live with that. It's not as bad as a piece of tart, Home Summers. I still have it out for that figure. So there she is. And then look at dumbass. I left freaking Speed Demon up here. Oof. There we go. Let's make sure you're gonna stand, you stupid little waste of plastic. There she is next to her sidekick. Because women have the brains, right? Ladies, saying that because I'm hoping someone will leave a comment for my phone number. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, with that being said, Beetle here. I'll give her. Man, I've just been straight tens for this wave. I'll give her a nine. I like her a lot. Very uh, expressive figure. And a message from Mr. Gaither. You'll have to wait. <laughs> I'm going to pause this video now to go answer it. No. But, um, yeah, so Beetle, really cool figure. Nine out of ten, like I said weren't for some flash and the warp leg probably and more knowledge of the character because really it's a chick in a green costume oh fun fact she is the daughter of Tom Tombstone Tombstone da, da, who needs a figure by the way um, but yes she is pretty cool I do like her <clears throat> is that it am I gonna shut up uh, yeah so that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned. We're going to be looking at her uh, douchebag partner in crime. I would have had a look of, at her uh, other partner in crime, Boomerang, but I uh, freaking bought one of her two right feet. Son of a bitch. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned. Until next time, catch you guys later.